Welcome to this video tutorial on how to quickly model windows in Rhino 7. We're going to be modeling a window on this angled surface here of this building. And we're going to begin by drawing out the template of the window just using the polyline tool. I'm going to do this in the top view and we're just going to draw this out as a 1 meter wide by 1.5 meters long and then join that up like so just to create a simple square window like so. Next thing we're going to do is just rotate this upwards holding the shift key and using the red x-axis on our gumball there and then we're going to use the move tool to move the window into position in the center of this wall. Now as we're doing this on an angled wall we're now going to have to rotate this window to match that angle and we can use the rotate 2D tool here select the center point, select the edge and just rotate it to snap on that surface like so. Once we've done that I'm then going to select the move tool again, lock it in the vertical position, click on the midpoint there and snap it to the midpoint of my wall. So we've centered the window in the midpoint of this wall like so. Next thing I want to do is create an opening for this window. So I'm going to just extrude out this curve and we're just going to extrude it out. It doesn't really matter about the length there as well. Before I create this opening, I'm actually going to draw a line along the bottom of this extrusion and this is going to help me when I come to model my window later to lay things out as I model them. Once I've done that, let's use the move tool and we're just going to move this inside the wall like so. And then we're going to use the boolean difference command, select the wall we want to keep, hit enter, select the wall we want to remove, make sure it's deleting the input and then click enter again to delete the wall. Now the first thing we're going to do here is create the frame of our window. And to do that we're going to take this outline, copy it and just move it into the center of this line here. And I'm going to use this line to help lay out the pieces of my window along this axis that I can then move them back into place once they're complete. To make the frame I'm first going to draw a profile for what I want the frame's cross section to look like. We're going to do this in the top view and we're just going to create a frame that's 0.0 six meters wide so six centimeters by six again by three and we're going to kind of create an angled sort of L frame cross section like so there once we've created that we're then going to move that into position on our frame just by using the move tool and we're going to move it to around the center point of this upper mark here we're then also going to rotate it so it matches the angle of my frame just using the rotate 2D to select these two points and then rotate them to match one of the bottom points there. So you can see that cross section is now in place on my frame like so. Now that's in place we're going to use the sweep 1 command selecting the edge of my frame and then selecting the cross section hitting enter, hitting enter again OK there and that will create my frame profile and there we have my kind of L cross section frame for my window. From there we're also going to make the glass piece. To do that we're just going to copy this piece out again out to the end of my line this time. We'll use a new layer for the glass and we'll just extrude this out and we'll just do this as a kind of 15 mil thick piece of glass there. Once that's made we're then going to move that back into place in the frame and I want to sort of make sure it's sat in between that L piece like so. You might want to at this point get rid of that excess glass that's coming through the frame here and to do that we'll just use the boolean difference tool again selecting the glass, selecting the frame, making sure we don't delete the input this time so the frame doesn't disappear and then hitting enter to cut that glass down to size. Now it might be you also want some kind of inner frames in here that kind of might divide up this panel of glass even more. So to do this we're going to take the original outline we've got here, type in explode and that will split this into a series of curves. We can delete these two and just keep the kind of length and the width there as well. Now it might be that we want to divide it up into sort of three sections so we can divide the bottom here by selecting that line, typing in the divide command and then choosing how many segments we want to divide it into. I'm going to do the same for this and divide that also into four segments like so. 
From there we're going to create the kind of divisions that we want and I'm just going to be using the free point box tool to do this which is found in this menu here. This allows me to, in my red layer, to define how wide I want this. We're going to do it 0.015 again, wide, 0.015, like that, and then we'll do the height, that's the height here. Then we can just select that piece there, and we're just going to move it from its midpoint to match these kind of division points here, and we can just copy it along like so. For the width, we can actually just copy this same division panel there, and once that's in place, we'll just use the Rotate 3D tool just to rotate that round, and just hold the Shift key to rotate it 90 degrees. Now, as you can see, it's slightly too long here, so a quick way to just adjust that is just to use the Extrude Surface tool. Take that end piece, like so, this one we're looking for, hit Enter, and then extrude it to match the line, and we can delete this one we've got there. Then once I've done that, we'll just copy these up to match these points as well. And once you have those, we can then select them and move them into position on my frame, just using the line again to help me snap that to the point I want them to move to, like so, there. Now it might be, I usually keep these separate because it might be that we want to change them later, but you may want to just trim off the edges of them using that Boolean difference command again. So we can do that just by selecting those frames, I'm going to deselect the outer one in the glass like so, hitting enter, selecting the main frame, enter again, and that will trim them all down to size. So there we have our kind of completed window, and before we insert it, we're just going to select the whole thing, type in block, add a base point in one of the bottom corners here, and just give it a unique name, like so. The reason for that is it might be that we want to kind of change it later once we've made it. So once we've made it into a block, we can then move it into position just along the line again and put it in place in the wall. At this point I can delete out my kind of construction lines there and now we have our window in place. Now this process can work with any other types of windows as well. I've done this particular one with a kind of standard square or rectangular window in this case but we can also do it with kind of circular windows, curvy windows like this. So any window you want to make can follow the same process in going about creating them. So I hope you found this quick video tutorial useful. And for any other videos on modeling and rendering techniques in Rhino, please check out the tutorials on the channel.